Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are exploring generative AI with Meta's Llama 3. In this hands-on tutorial, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about using this powerful AI model. Let's get started. The Meta Llama 3 is a state-of-the-art large language model, LLM, developed by Meta. The Meta Llama 3 family consists of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text models in 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. These models are optimized for dialogue and are fine-tuned with techniques like supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback. This ensures the models are not only highly capable but also safe and helpful. We'll explore how to set up and use these models effectively in Google Colab. Make sure that you have taken access permission on Transformers Hugging Face website from Meta for using their models. It's a simple process. When you select any model on search bar, instruction will be provided to get access along with model details summary. Once you have the permission, you can generate an access token from the Transformers Hugging Face settings. First, let's set up our environment on Google Colab. You can activate the powerful T4 GPU or TPU V2 provided by Colab Notebook if you wish to. This helps in giving extra processing power while running AI models. Next, we'll create a config.jso file to store our access token. We will store the access token we collected from Hugging Face Transformers website. We will also create requirements.txt file to specify the necessary packages. We store required packages and their versions. The Accelerate library simplifies the process of distributing computations and optimizes model training performance. The Bits and Bytes library is particularly useful for reducing the memory footprint of models by using techniques like 4-bit quantization, enabling the deployment of larger models on resource-constrained hardware. The Transformers library offers easy-to-use APIs to load pre-trained models and tokenizes, facilitating the implementation of advanced NLP applications. Now, let's get into the code. We'll start by importing the necessary dependencies and configuring our Hugging Face account in Google Colab. To set up the environment and import necessary dependencies for a project involving natural language processing with the Transformers library, start by installing all required packages using pip install our requirements.txt. Then, import essential Python libraries and modules. JSO for handling JSO data, Torch for PyTorch functionalities and specific components from the Transformers library, Auto Tokenizer, Auto Model for Cosm, Bits and Bytes Config, Pipeline to manage tokenization, load causal language models, configure optimization settings and create processing pipelines. To configure the Hugging Face, HF, account for accessing their models and services, first load the configuration data from a config.jso file. Extract the Hugging Face token, HF token, from this configuration data, which is necessary for authentication. Then, specify the model to be used by setting model name to Meta Llama 3-8B, indicating that the Meta Llama 3-8B model from Hugging Face's repository will be utilized in the project. For optimizing model performance and reducing memory usage, configure quantization settings using the bits and bytes config class. Set load in 4-bit is equal to true to enable loading the model with 4-bit precision. Enable double quantization with BNB 4-bit use double quant is equal to true for improved accuracy. Specify the quantization type as NF4 using BNB 4-bit quant type is equal to NF4 and set the compute data type to torch.bf load 16 with BNB 4-bit compute type is equal to torch.bf load 16 to balance performance and efficiency during computations. To load the tokenizer and language model, first initialize the tokenizer using auto tokenizer from pre-trained, specifying the model name and authentication token. Set the padding token to be the same as the end-of-sequence token. 
Next, load the causal language model with automodel for COSERM from pretrained using the same model name and token for authentication. Configure the model to automatically map to available devices and apply the quantization settings defined earlier with BNB config for optimized performance. Make sure that the GPU is on before you run this particular block of code. Create a text generation pipeline using the pipeline function, specifying the task as text generation. This pipeline utilizes the previously loaded model and tokenizer to generate text. The max new tokens is equal to 500 parameter limits the output to a maximum of 500 new tokens, ensuring that the generated text does not exceed this length. The getResponse function generates a response based on a user-provided prompt. It takes the prompt as input, uses the text generator pipeline to create text sequences and extracts the generated text from the first sequence in the result. The prompt is obtained from user input and the function's output is printed, displaying the generated text based on the given prompt. We can change the number of tokens from 500 to 100 to get controlled response. That's it for today's hands-on tutorial with the Meta Llama 3 on Google Colab. We've explored its capabilities, set up the environment, and seen it in action. I hope you found this video informative and exciting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI and machine learning content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.